Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. This is our lunchtime live. Lunchtime live this afternoon. It is a Wednesday. It's hump day. But guess what? First and foremost, this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. What about you? As long as you above ground, you should be thanking God. You should be giving God some praise. Why? Because he's worthy for every last one of your praises. He's worthy. He did something for you that could nobody else do. He woke you up this morning. Okay. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all something. I have some, some, I ain't gonna really say really much energy, but I got a revelation and confirmation on yesterday. And October 30th. Oh, baby, it's going to be off the chain. It's going to be straight. It's going to be straight. But that's not what I came on here to talk to you about. Okay. We always saying um, for our business, our in ministry, whatever uh, journey of your life you're on, some of us have been called to the marketplace, to the marketplace to serve. Some have been called in the church, in the building behind that sacred desk i know that i've been called to the marketplace and for you and i for wherever you have been called to you have to pray about your business about your ministry about your life you have to begin to command your day this money cometh to me I do make this much. I do earn this much. But guess what? I give just as much. I give what I'm supposed to give off of what God has allowed to come in my house. I pour out to people what God is pouring into me. So, there's a few things I want to talk to you about in just a few minutes. Now, this is this is probably going to be a part two and part three to this too, but just hold on. Uh-oh. Prayers for biz, for your business to grow. If you're starting a new business, there's a prayer. You need strong prayer guidance if you're starting. You still need strong prayer guidance. And <clears throat> prosperity. Okay, you're asking the Lord for patience and wisdom to make the right decisions. Pray that God will lead the right customers and right people to you that will rise to the occasion and and you can serve them well. Okay, so prayer two is for your prosperous business. When your business needs a boost of prosperity, ask the Lord to open your mind and heart for recognizing new opportunities. Don't let an opportunity pass you by and don't let the devil steal what God has just gave you because you are not paying attention. You have to pay attention. Um, I heard this today. You can be working for somebody, i.e. <clears throat> for a company or for a person, whomever, and you just seem to get agitated and frustrated with the place or the people. It's not them, i.e. it's me. Because God is shifting me and increasing. He's shifting and increasing. And you have to wholeheartedly believe that. Believe that in you. Then there's another prayer for success. Prayer for business growth. You're praying to make business, big business decisions. But you, all in all, you've got to be paying attention. You have to be Focus and paying attention. The first thing, the first thing you need to do, you need to ask God, who am I? And when God tells you who you are, focus on where you're supposed to be. Where are you supposed to be? Are you supposed to be the marketplace? Is that where he's calling you? Or is he calling you to be indoors or in, at church where is he calling you to be where 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 does your where is your business or your ministry effective the most ask god who am i and be willing to hear 
Okay, now, God, what am I here for? What am I supposed to be doing? What did you create me to do? These are all questions, all conversations you're going to have with God. Because he has those answers. I don't have them for you. I have to seek him for my answers. <laughs> so, then you say, God, show me who I am. Show me who I am. If y'all heard me say that before. Show me who I am. I want to see who you see. So, you have to be passionate about what you say he called you to do. That's that's a passion. You have a passion, i.e., motivate, encourage, inspire, and and motivate, encourage, inspire, and empower the masses. That is helping. I have a passion to help people. That has always been my passion as long as I've been living. Knew how to help somebody. Knew that I was a compassionate person. I've always wanted to help the next person. So God has magnified my help in a way I'd be like, wow, you know. So I have a passion for that. And understand this, you can do nothing without prayer. You have to have prayer in your business. I don't care, five years, ten years, prayer still needs to be the forefront of your business, your ministry, your life. That's where prayer falls in. And that's where you are going to grow when you learn to command your day. Command stuff to come to you. Stop being doubtful. Get it out of your head. I'm, I don't think I can have that. I don't think I can have that. Stop... <laughs> Stop saying what you can't have. Stop riding the fence or I, I got all this faith or I don't believe. What you going to do? You going to believe what the word of God says about you? Or you going to believe what these, uh, these fake people say about you? God is real. God is real. And understand this. Whatever somebody says to you about you, that's not your, that's not your final destination. That does not detect, detect if when your destiny is going to come. That has nothing to do with you, how they feel, what they're saying. Let them flap their lips and let you listen to God and let you move to your increase. Because God is, God is increasing in this season. He wants some soldiers that believe that he is increasing. He's increasing you. He's moving you to higher heights. He's moving you to the house that you desire. He's moving you to, for your business to grow. He's moving you to prosper. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to prosper. He's moving you. He's He, he wants you right down. Write your goals down. If your goal is to, is to uh, make $150,000 a year, Write out how what you need to do to make that happen every month, every month, every week, every two weeks. Every month I need to make this amount of money. Every two weeks I need to make this. Every every week, every two weeks, every month, every year. By the time you get all those, those three, the week, the uh, two weeks, the month, by the time you get there... You should have your goal for the for the year. That's how you have to break it down. You have to break that thing down so you get it. So you get it for you. You have to get it. And you got to believe, too. Don't say, well, we live in Jackson. I can't make that type of money. Okay, you you keep that mentality, and I'll see you. I'm going to see you at the top, but you might be a little longer getting there. So change your mindset. Ask God, who am I? God, churn up those creative juices. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When I say I got revelation and confirmation on yesterday, what I was doing, what I like to do, and let's look at that clouds. But I was in the clouds. I was. I said, that is what you call in the clouds. Everybody wouldn't understand it. And if you don't, that's fine. But when you have, a, when 
you get to the point where you can look at clouds and you can get a revelation because God is speaking to you. You can get confirmation because God is speaking to you. Then you come tell me how it feel. Then you come tell me how it feel. I know how it feel. It's amazing. It is amazing to know that my daddy shaping them clouds in all different shapes and and some of them shaped into you can actually see different pictures that was my daddy did. so anyway i just want you to understand prayer is needed for your business to grow prayer is needed for you to get your health together prayer is needed for you to just walk around this earth because there's some evil people around now but you need to be prayed up. Labor to God. Ask him who you are. Who am I, God? What was I created for? What did you have me come into this, this world for? I'm going to tell you. You the light that somebody needs to see. You may be the Bible that somebody, they don't read them. You may be the only Bible they read. So, this, I told you it's going to be a two or three part thing. So, y'all be blessed. Y'all have a good one. Um, I might see y'all later on this evening. I'm not sure. Uh, but when I come back, y'all have y'all paper, pencil and paper ready. So, we going to get this done. We gonna, I'm going to help you. That's why God is helping me. I'm going to help you get to the point where you desire to be in your thought process in your words it's all about what comes out of your mouth is what's gonna happen y'all be blessed love you love you love you god loves you g loves you nothing you can do about it where well, i'm gonna see you i'm gonna see you what at the top